What's up, man? 25 Gamers. Welcome to today's video. Today we'll be breaking down our depth chart for our, our team that we think best fits uh, the scheme of the week perfectly. And uh, for our offense, we're going to we're gonna do two separate videos because I want to get a little bit more in-depth with what actually goes into what. And I want to actually be able to group the videos a little bit better. So uh, anyways, guys, uh, today we're going to be talking about our depth chart for the uh, Green Bay Packers. They're, in my opinion, the best shotgun spread offense in the game. And uh, this particular video is going to go towards showing a roster for their uh, for their receivers and, and things that I like to look for when I um, set up my depth chart, etc. Like that. So uh, let's hop into this. So first things first, I always like to auto reorder my depth chart. What that's going to do is it's going to basically just every position they're just going to put the best guy in there, and, uh, and you know it, it's going to just give me a better home base for my my thinking. So I automatically reorder the depth chart here, and I see a couple things right off the head. Uh, as quarterback, I see I have an 83-speed quarterback. 83-speed at quarterback is pretty good, so I'm going to go ahead and put him uh, up here before I get into comparison. And now you see I'm kind of ranked according to ex uh, a ability outside of Aaron Rodgers because he's obviously the clear-cut number one. But I'm kind of ranked as, in, in terms of athleticism here. So now I'm going to go to the throwing stats and kind of compare and contrast there. Um, so here you see I'm going to go to my throwing stats. Here I see that both quarterbacks here, these uh, these two quarterbacks have under 80 throw power. I don't really like that too much. Uh, as you can see, I, uh, Scott Tolson here has 83 throwing power, which is a little bit higher than the other two. Uh, has a little bit better short accuracy than both. Uh, has a little bit better medium accuracy and has a little bit better deep accuracy. So his throwing abilities are a little bit better uh, aside from the throw on the run. So I'm going to go ahead and put him as my backup, and then I'm going to put Seneca Wallace as my third-string quarterback because I obviously want to have the ability to get to an athletic quarterback if I need to, but I obviously also want to have Scott Tolzian uh, as my backup with that throwing power and stats that he possesses. can be a, a very poor man's uh, Aaron Rodgers, but uh, pretty good anyway. Running back. What I firstly, uh, first things first. What I like to do is again, I want to do the same thing. I want to rate them according to uh, athleticism. So I'm going to put Harris here first. I'm going to put uh, Franklin second, Lacey fourth, and then you see how I'm now in order. Now what I can do is I can I can compare their abilities. So let's take a look at acceleration. You see that Lacey doesn't have the greatest. Starks has decent. Harris has the best, of course. Agility, same thing. They're all kind of the same rating. Lacey, obviously, now as we're starting to see, is more of an inside running back uh, with that 95 trucking, whereas Harris is more of an outside running back with his 88 elusive. We're also starting to see that Starks is basically kind of, uh, kind of just blending with all of these guys. They're kind of in the middle. He's not terrible at elusiveness, uh, uh, but he's not. He's also not terrible at trucking. Uh, so you see that his ratings are kind of in the middle. Um, other thing we notice here with Eddie Lacy is his 97 spin move rating, uh, which means we can precision modifier that. Another thing I also notice here is this 96 carry. You want to look at that at all your running backs because you want to know late in games what running back am I going to put in my system uh, to really be effective at holding on the ball. And then lastly, this is my uh, biggest category for the Arizona playbook because it's a pass happy offense, very pass heavy. I need my starting running back to be able to catch balls out of the backfield. As you see here, Harris really doesn't have great catching. Um, he has great athletic ability, but not great catching. Franklin is kind of he's in the middle, uh, really not great catching. He's not any better than Lacey. Uh, you see Lacey has a 74 spec catch, which is the best out of all of them. But what I notice here is that Starks has really good catching traffic. And for my money, catching traffic is the most important catching uh, receiving rating in the game. So Starks is a guy that's got decent athleticism, decent everything. Across the board, a very good all-around back. So I'm going to start James Starks. I'm going to put Dewan uh, Harris here as his backup so that he can get in in certain situations and he can kind of be that explosive back that he is. And then obviously I'm going to uh, use Eddie Lacy in the late game. And then obviously if uh, Starks gets hurt, I could put in Lacy as my number one and still have Harris as my um, still have Harris as my spell back uh, kind of whenever I uh, want to break a big play. At fullback, uh, what I like to look for here, uh, since I don't use a fullback in my offense, I like to look at hit power. Uh, and I just want to put the guys at the highest hit power or highest impact block. As we see here, there's really nobody that stands out. Uh, so I'm going to go over to impact block. 
You see here I got a guy with 81 impact block. Uh, I've got, and then the rest of them are 60s across the board. So then what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to take this Jake Stoneburner guy. I'm actually going to put him on my special teams. So I'm going to not put him in this category, but I am going to put him on my special teams uh, for later on in the game. So I'm just going to leave Ryan Taylor here with that 66 impact block and run with it like it is. Wide receivers. Okay, so this is where it gets really deep. Uh, what I first like to do with my wide receivers is I like to order them in order of catching traffic. Uh, as I Instead of ordering by athleticism, I like to order them in catching traffic because, again, I value catching traffic as the most important rating of any receiver. So I look for catching traffic first, then I look at everything else later. And you see there's really no hidden gems here, nobody on the bench that has a great catch in traffic. So this is pretty well ordered as is. So now I'm going to go back through and I'm going to say, okay, what, what do I have for speed? Who are my speed guys? You see I don't have hardly any. The only speedy guy I have is Randall Cobb. And Jordy Nelson has decent speed uh, with that acceleration. Randall Cobb is more of a slot swing guy. So what I want to do with my offense, if I'm running Arizona's playbook, is I like to have my uh, kind of big play receiver in terms of uh, possession type receiver. I like to have him at the number one because he's going to be running those underneath routes and those user catch routes. And so a guy like um, James Jones is a really good uh, player for this target. And another reason I put James Jones at number one is so that I can still have that 90 speed at the number two receiver because if I ever see a cover zero, I'm going to audible to that play from the shotgun trips. I'm going to use that close concept we talked about, and the receiver that will be over there should be Jordy Nelson if everything is correct. And then my fourth receiver, I like to have, again, a good guy with catch and traffic and spec catch. And you see Boykin does both of those. Another thing I really like is Chris Harper is really good at that. Now now we're going to get into um, the fifth receiver slot and why I like to look for, again, a guy with good hit power because these are guys that are on your special teams. Here we don't see anybody that stands out, uh, so I'm not going to really worry about it. Uh, but anyways, guys, just be, just be, caught, just be aware of that uh, and make sure that you're looking at that. Um, another thing we notice here is that Ken Dorsey has 72 catch, 74 catch in traffic, and 83 spec catch. And I don't know what just happened to my screen, but I think we just, um, okay. Anyways, guys, uh, but that's how I like to set my depth chart up uh, for wide receivers. So uh, hopefully that will uh, benefit you guys, but uh, we're going to close it out here because uh, that's all I really wanted to cover. But uh, make sure you guys check out the defensive version. It's talking all about depth charts here in Man 25. Thanks, guys.